Hey everyone and welcome to another video. I am Mike B and today I'm going to be remaking a video I made a few years ago. A little bit better sound quality, a little bit better background. I think this wallpaper is a little bit better. And um, this is going to be another shining example of how shitty and douchey the gun community can be to its own members. Um, again, I've said this in many videos and it pisses a lot of people off, but the gun community is its own worst enemy. I'm the, I feel more alienated from it day by day because I'm kind of doing my own thing and uh, I don't really fall into line with all the gun community things that uh, take place. But anyway, we'll just kind of leave it at that. So this one's going to be about building versus assembling an AR-15. So this is something that's on AR-15.com or ARFCOM constantly. And I saw this years ago and that's a d d like made me stay the hell away from this forum. A bunch of, bunch of people. And here's the thing is when you get on forums... There are really cool people that are knowledgeable, patient, a lot more patient than I ever was, and are willing to help people out and just kind of supportive. And then you get the majority of people that are sitting at home, they're twice divorced, if they were ever married, uh, or they're you know the opposite end of the spectrum, they're lifelong virgin. They make me look like a very fine specimen of a human being as far as the weight goes. Uh, they usually have scraggly neck beards, they smell like a goat most of the time. And they wear hats like Molon Lab and, you know, Molon Labia, all that stuff. And, you know, sheepdog, things like that. They, they're one step away from having a drool cup hanging off of their face. But, hey, those guys know everything there is to know about guns because they are the experts. Just ask them. And this is not just with guns. This is with cars. This is with anything. You get these same kind of people. Now, here's the thing that pissed me off. When I would see people that, you know... We're going online and talking about, hey, I decided to build my first AR. You know, what did I, is there anything I should expect? You know, before like YouTube videos were out, explain that. Oh, you mean assemble your AR? It's like, okay, you pedantic fuck. Why don't you just be patient with this person? I know I've, I'm speaking for other people. I'm not as patient. I simply choose not to comment a lot of times nowadays if I'm like frustrated at the same question being asked over and over again or I make a video on it now that I have a somewhat platform. I can just refer people to it. And, uh, you know, so first of all, which AR did I build? Both of them. I'm just kidding. Brownells built this one very, very nicely. I just put the original furniture on it because their repro furniture fell very fucking short. But um, yeah, so I got the XM16E1. Those are hard to find originals for, so I decided to just get the repro. Nice shooter, very well made, except for the furniture. So, and then this was actually my first AR that I ever built. I've got the number on there, and uh, it fires great. It was fantastic. I actually did put the barrel on this one and all that stuff. This one, most of the most of the things I get now from like Palmetto State Armory or something, they come with the upper assembled. The upper is the biggest bitch to put together. If you haven't done it before, it took me a couple tries, but uh, actually did it correctly, and it runs like a champ, and I'll probably never get rid of this one just because it was my first AR. Uh, luckily, I had a YouTube video. Somebody was nice enough to uh, make a tutorial on how to assemble a basic AR-15, which is fun from parts. I mean, obviously, you need to buy the receiver from an FFL, but once you have that, parts kits are everywhere. I decided to just get the standard M1. Kind of a Counter-Strike 1.6 gun if I had the 14 and a half inch barrel, but this'll this'll do. So that's kind of why I wanted this for, just to have a, an example of you know one of these. It's on a Poverty Pony Anderson lower. Um, anyway, so I just kind of wanted to show off what I got going on here and keep it relevant. So really quickly, I want to debunk this. You know, you're assembling an AR-15. No, both words are correct, right? So both building and assemble are correct. I'm going to really quickly log in here and give you the Merriam-Webster's Modern Dictionary definition. Um, the first definition of the word build, okay? It's a verb, right? And the first definition is to form by ordering and uniting materials by gradual means into a composite whole to construct. Birds building a nest. Build new hospitals and schools. The boat her father built. Okay, so let's analyze this. Let's go into some linguistics here. When you build something, it literally means to assemble from parts. That's it. We're not going to actually get into linguistics. I, I, I lied about that. Let's get into some technical shit, some pedantic stuff, and let's, let's analyze this for what it is when these assholes say, oh, you mean you assembled an AR. If these people think... So a lot of these people are actually like they're... Um, 
their AK builders and stuff like that. They think that requiring, you know, a welder and a torch and, and rivet guns and all that sh cool, fancy shit, then you're building something. Well, with your logic of, of bu not building an AR, but assembling it, that means that you would literally have to extract the metal from the ground, which is in ore form. You would have to later smelt that, process the ore, uh, separate it from the stone and the slag and all that shit, uh, have a foundry going, either cast or uh, swage or mill those parts out by hand, and then assemble all those parts that you you created you know, from the ground up. And then you could say you're building. No, that's, that's bullshit. Literally, when you get an AR-15 in a parts kit, everything is in a part. The safety selector is a part. The uh, magazine release is a part. It's a piece. Okay, so you take everything and you assemble it. You put it together to form. Or here, what, what was the last? What was the last term? To uh, come on, baby, thumbprint uh, into a composite whole. So into a whole, you are building an AR when you put it together. You're not. You are assembling it too. But to say you're building it is just as accurate as saying assemble it. Stop being pedantic, old fucks on the forum. That you know. It's the thing is like you can tell who is extremely insecure on a forum site because they're the ones who seem to know the most and nobody else can come close to their knowledge. They're always right. They're never wrong. Nobody can say otherwise. And they're very obvious. This happens in the reenacting community a lot too. <clears throat> I'm going off on a tangent, maybe a future video. But uh, here's the thing is here, here's how I know that because when I was insecure, I used to be really insecure and just miserable. I would go on forums and do the same shit. So that's how I know that that's how these people are in their mindset and their mentality. So... Just figured I'd make a video for all of you that might get black pilled if you go onto a, you know, you want to build an AR-15 eventually, and you go onto a forum site and go, oh, you mean assemble? You don't build an AR. Well, technically, if you want to build a house, then you're gonna have to go out and cut down the fucking lumber again, get some metal going because you need metal now for houses. Uh, crush up all the rock, put tar on, on on some more kind of papery stuff to make shingles. You're gonna have to go through the whole process in order to say you built a house, right? No you assemble the house, right? No, you built a fucking house from other parts that you didn't necessarily make yourself. You put it together into a composite whole. So that's all I've got on this. This isn't really, it's a totally serious video and I ranted for a lot longer than I should, but it hopefully gets the point across about this pedantic shit and the fact that they're wrong and incorrect on this shit speaks volumes for the amount of internet experts and the quality we've got to deal with out there on forums, especially with people coming into the firearm community. So, again, that being said, I'm not totally innocent of this stuff. I just like to call out bullshit when I see it, and that's what I see. So, all right, if you made it this far, comment with Counter-Strike. We'll do that. I like doing this little game. It's kind of fun. Comment with Counter-Strike, because this is as close as I'm going to get to ever having a legitimate Counter-Strike without having to pay the $200 tax stamp to get a fucking SBR going. I mean, come on. And, uh, yeah, so if you made it this far, Counter-Strike. And then, I'd like to thank the sponsors of this video. Patreon supporters and channel members. Yeah, it's not a corporate sponsor. It's self-funded and crowdfunded. It's the way I want to keep my channel. So that's why I call them my sponsors because they are. So if you want to also become a sponsor and help out the channel, doing ballistic tests, affording cool things like this to make videos on in the future and shoot and all that stuff, historic artifacts, ballistic tests, you name it, you can become a channel member by hitting the join button below or a Patreon supporter by clicking the link in the description. Five bucks a month or more on either platform gets you into my Discord server, which is pretty fun. I learn a lot of stuff on there. There's a lot of people on there, a lot more than I ever thought would be on here. Uh, this past year has been great for crowdfunding. I've been able to make videos that I never thought were going to be possible, just funding out of pocket. So that's fantastic. And this year is going to be fucking awesome with the content I'm going to be putting out. So if you can't support the channel financially, I totally get that. Just if you want to still support me, just like this video subscribe if you haven't already comment with something that you liked about this video or you learned or thought it was funny or thought it was stupid and uh also share this video out if you thought it was educational and some people fall into this category and probably need to hear this so yeah and if you don't want to support me that's also your choice that's fine i just appreciate you watching and we will see you on the next video